Hello everyone and welcome back to another home vlog. Today we're going to be decorating for Christmas. Yay! I'm actually not in the festive spirit yet. I feel like I can't fully get into it until the tree is up and I've dug out all the decorations and all the Christmassy things. So we're going to do that today. It's a Saturday. Ben has been working away a week and I've just come back from Mallorca. So we haven't had a chance to, to decorate until now. So I feel like we are the last people. Um, but let me know, are you a early decorator or are you later this year? I think we would have done it before I went away. Like end of November is sort of a good time, but obviously, you know, didn't have chance. Didn't have time. I was gonna say didn't have a chance, didn't have time. Either way, you get what I'm trying to say. It's about half past 12. I think we're going to just spend the day doing it, basically. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but we've got an amazing tree we bought in the sale a couple of years ago from Balsam Hill. I think that's how you say it. Uh, and we've got loads of Christmas Disney decorations that I want to dig out. I'm very excited. We have a Christmas um, tree skirt to put on this year. We also have the Disney train to build. I'm going to try and find our Christmas pyjamas. I don't know where they are because I'm in a jumpsuit at the moment. I'm actually my, my cosy jumpsuit. Bonnie's just down here waiting. Where is she? There she is. I just had to show you my new phone background. Look at these two this morning. I haven't actually changed to my new phone yet because I'm still sorting out photos and decluttering and stuff. But I'll do that today at some point but look at them oh my heart it melted <laughs> so chilling. cute just chilling yeah um right ben you're sat in the dark in candlelight here yeah i'm getting christmasy with alan's gingerbread candle okay right i see um look it is time to decorate now i'm afraid for christmas we did say half past and I think you'll find that I am bang on time. We had to give each other a time because we knew we wouldn't get started. It's feeling like a chore at the moment. It is, but once we get it all out, it'll be fine. We will, we will. It does not, it feels like October. It does, I know, I thought the same. It doesn't feel like Christmas. I don't I thought it was just me because I've been away and I thought, well, I've been in this little Spanish bubble and granted it wasn't overly sunny, but I, I just thought maybe that's why, but... Why, why are we not in the festive spirit yet? Well, it's been really busy, so we haven't really seen each other quite recently. I've no. Been away, I've been away for two weeks. You've been away for a week. Mm hmm And so it's just feeling a bit like... But well, we have seen the Coca-Cola Christmas advert, so we've got no excuse. As soon... That's 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 it. As soon as you see the Coca-Cola ad... A single better piece Christmas. of branding. Holidays are coming. Like, I, I don't and do you know what? We don't even drink Coca-Cola. We drink Pepsi Max. Yeah. <laughs> But if Coca Cola ever wanted to do a I was say, let's say reach out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we love it. Yeah. We're big Pepsi Max fans. Anyway, we need to put some festive music on. We need to dig out the Christmas jumpers. Sure, we, we need do. reindeer ears, Minnie yeah. Mouse's. Pentatonic's Christmas album. No, we need Gary C's acoustic Christmas we album. Do. We do. <laughs> Sorry, obviously. <laughs> okay. Right, come on then. Oh, Stop yeah, the this. Thing is, the thing is, the right. only reason I say Pentatonic's obviously because I've been listening to Gary's Christmas album all year. Oh, of around. course, of course you have. <laughs> and that's why it didn't come to mind straight away. <laughs> Gary's a really good friend of ours. Okay, yes, Pickle. Would you like to decorate with us? Oh, wow. That was a really big I nose mean, lick. Yes. Is that a yes? I think it's because she knows that we spend most of the time sat on the floor decorating the bottom. And so she can just jump all over us. <laughs> Would you like to see the train? Would you like to see our little Christmas train we've got that goes on the bottom? Oh, my God. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, good. Okay. You know what? This will be two years in a row. We put a Christmas tree up and we take it down before Christmas. No, we'll take it down after. We're going away for Christmas, and we're not going to actually be here. Oh, oh, did you hear that? That's that my hip. Come on, let's go. Into the loft. We're off to a good start, trying to get the ladder up. Look at the mess we've made up the top there. We need to get a proper ladder. It's at the bottom of the uh, priority list though, isn't no, it? What we need to do is we need to move, out, move that into the hallway, board that over, and reboard this whole bathroom true and then get the ladder going down into the corridor into oh, the hallway because last time you called my bluff and we, we, we actually did it <laughs> <laughs> and so then look, christmas day we just out the kitchen look. are you trying to are you helping look at her are you helping <laughs> good girl so croissant <laughs> croissant sorry so you look like you know um when like back in the like 90s and early um 2000s like you know, people with Bluetooth headsets, these businessmen that used to go to hey, the airport. Just before the murder. <laughs> I won't tell you again. That's what it looks uh, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little Bluetooth headset. Okay. Are you listening to the football? Yeah. <laughs> Good. All right, this let's go. My one, my one thing is 
I'll do it. But I've got to listen to the football to see what's going on with the boys. Okay, fine. Um, this is just excessive for two people. I mean, oh, okay. We've got some parcels apparently. Um, yes, this is this. And then out here we have my little tree, the train, a box there, a box there, and that's Christmas gifts for people. Ignore the mess. I only ever normally show you when the lounge is like all perfectly put together, but you know what? This is real life. This is what it looks like right now. My dream was always to have a tree in the lounge. But as you can see, we have a projector, we have a dog, we have stuff. It's not gonna happen in here. It's gonna be too much there as well. So last year, we put the tree up in that corner and we used to have a dining room table here and chairs. So it just made the most sense to have it over there. Now, as you can see, we've finished doing our renovations. We've finished doing the floor. We've got this lovely open space. And we both decided we didn't want another dining room table again because we just don't use it. Like, quite frankly, it's just not being used. So we want to get a sofa and we have gone back and forth, umming and ahhing over what we want, how we want it to look, what colour. And to be honest, we both just have given up, like, deciding. We've just left it for a minute. It's not a huge priority and we'll do it when we, when we get around to it. Probably in the um, January sales. So we're now thinking for this year about having the tree in this corner because it's probably the last and only time we'll ever be able to have the tree out there. And look, it's a beautiful big space. I'll move that one, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking that could be quite nice. But this is obviously the last year that it will look like this. Hopefully this time next year we'll have a coffee table and a sofa. We went on a nice dog walk this morning and I got myself a latte at Costa. We walked around the park, the three of us. The weather's really lovely today. Um, and Benji swung by Tesco and picked up a hot chicken. So I'm just gonna cut it up. Um, it's in here. And we're gonna have that for lunch with um, some tiger bread, nice fresh tiger bread. And then we will start the decorating. Um, I'm excited about it, but also like, we have so much stuff, you know? Anyone else? All right, we've located the Christmas pajamas <laughs> for all. <laughs> yes, we have, everyone's taking part again. These are from Chelsea Piers. Chelsea, Chelsea Piers, New York. And yes, we all have matching. Mm -hmm. Everyone put their paws in. Three, two, one, Christmas! Christmas! <laughs> She's like, guys, what the <laughs> heck is going on? What the heck, mom? What the heck? Hmm? Just think if another family <laughs> fostered you, adopted you, you could have been having, I don't know, normal Christmas and said you got us nat nats. <laughs> oh, look at her. So cute. Also, I will just say, because the pyjamas all look pretty identical. I mean, they are slightly mine, different. Mine are cuffed. And mine, also mine. Right, your top is... Not my arms aren't. Anyway, last year we got confused and we accidentally swapped at some point. So this year, well, last year, we gave ourselves one less job and I actually labelled up the bag so we knew whose was who. Oh, honestly. Stuff ready? like this. Yes. I'm already. Most important thing every year is to take your instructions and just... Don't need that negative position. We obviously do, don't you? Yeah, just keep recording. <laughs> this is our tree. Honestly, I think the best thing we ever did was get a pre-lit tree. And we bought it in the sale. We bought it in the sales in like January. Yeah. It was like 40% off. It was I'm still sure quite expensive, sure watched, wasn't it? I'm sure if you watched the video last year, I would have said it's 30% off. This year, 40 was like 40% off. <laughs> it was so good. Um, okay, figure A. Right, okay, cool. You're just going for it. Okay, fine. Yeah, you just go from big to big and then up and then it's a Fine. Oh, look at you. Just got a little Christmas, but oh, okay, bye. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile. It's good, Yeah, we haven't fluffed it yet, but... Wait. That looks so pretty, doesn't it? Once we've sloughed it out, it'll look great. Let's do it. songs that we love. And in a while, we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this. I 
Okay, we're not 100% what order to do things in because we have a tree skirt, the train, and then obviously the decorations. But I bought this from Shop Disney this year, and it's the Waltz Lodge tree skirt. We didn't have one last year, and it looked a bit weird, didn't it, with that tree skirt? Yeah, hopefully the train goes over the top of the tree skirt. All round it. Like the rotten on the bottom. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, around it, yeah. Right, tree skirts down. How stinking cute is this? I am. Um, I don't quite love the line right at the front. Is that just being picky? Yeah. Because I like the tree, that, that castle at the front. Maybe I want it shimmied. No, you won't. I want it shimmied a bit. I want the castle there. Okay, so we've got most of the big decorations out, the Disney ones. I thought I'd show you some of my favourites. This one we got in Walt Disney World in 2018. I love that one. Florida 2018. See, I've put the dates on. And then this one, you can see, look, this is December 2017, our first Christmas together. And then we found more zines. So we normally go skiing at Christmas, but obviously that's not happening over the last couple of years. Um, we're going to have to get a Cotswolds one, Benj. Yeah. I'll have to find one. A teen, obviously when we stayed there as well. And look, December 2018. Um, and then, yeah, there's a couple of really cute Christmassy Disney Disney ones. Obviously had Goofy the skier, because, you know, skiing normally. This is my absolute favorite one. Again, we got that in, was that Florida or California? One of them. I definitely remember bringing it home. Yeah. Um, I think we brought a couple from um, we the Christmas a shop. In didn't we? Yeah. Oh, look at this Baymax. This is so cute. Look, he's got all the lights on him. The, uh, these are my favourites. Oh yeah, we Love bought these last these. year, didn't we? Was this shop Disney? Was it? No, we found these on a website. I think we got an ad on Instagram, and they all have different characters with different words on. So you got like love, joy, um, magic there with Mickey. Blue Bear, sparkle. Hope. Who's this? Fairy. Dumbo. Fairy. Yeah. Tink. Fairy. Oh, family, babe. Oh sure. Um. Family. <laughs> Just for you, let's take a walk. Why we don't like how she lights up, but she's not coloured. Um, Tink is a little bit on the wall. Yeah. Can we move her? Can you not? Yeah, push the branches out so it looks like it blends a bit more. So it still looks like a tree on the top, you know. So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, so beautiful. Okay, we have finished the tree, and it looks like this. So we've got all our Disney decks on it. We've got the tree skirt and the train around the bottom. And yeah, it just looks really nice. We've tried to take some pictures of all of us together with it. This is the aftermath, the mess. So I'm gonna just try and tidy this a little bit and then we can put some of this away. We are out on a dog walk in our pajamas. <laughs> yeah, I wear mine as well. <laughs> um, obviously we're just doing a little walk with Bonnie and then we're gonna make dinner. Yes. Um, we work, I was thinking we could have a takeaway, but we had one last night. We had a Chinese last night, it was amazing, wasn't Just it? like, you know, when you that craving, like, I'd had a really long day at work, a really long week at work. Yeah. And then finished a lot later than I thought we would, so I got back late. Yeah. And then you were still working till, well, God knows what time. Yeah. So it was just, nah. 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 So we'd been that off. So we had Chinese last night, and so tonight, we've got a couple of HelloFresh options, haven't we? We've got chicken korma. Chicken, mushroom, and mash, or another thing that I can't remember. I can't remember either. Is it meatballs? Oh yeah, it's meatballs. Cool. Um, so we're gonna make dinner, and then we need to watch a Christmas film. No, um, Hawkeye. Oh, we are watching Hawkeye. Yeah, to be fair. Ben, she's making dinner. Don't know what you're making, but it looks good and it smells good. And I've just shared a cute little reel while he's been cooking of our tree. And yeah, it looks so lovely. There's what it looks like with all the lights on. Obviously it looks better when the lights are off. We've got a little garland going on here. We've done the one on the stairs. We've 
also behind me got a little decoration corner going on over there. So just a selection of random things. Benji's mum bought us this recently and my mum bought us this one recently. So they both um, gave us new Christmassy bits. So yeah, this little ornament I bought recently from Shop Disney. Um, it was in the sale and it does actually light up. The light at the top lights up. So I've got that out and then we've got a couple of bits hanging on here. We've just swapped this out. And then Benji's also added little garlands and mistletoe. We've got another one above the window. And then we also bought a Santa. We both always wanted one of these. Um, <laughs> so we bought one of those in the garden center last year. So we've got Santa, we've got Chippendale. These are actually candles that my mum got me years ago and I love them as decoration. I'm never gonna burn them. So I also have my own little tree, um, little baby one that I normally decorate, but I just, I just can't be bothered this year. Um, we also have some bells hanging and yeah, the garland up the stairs lights up as well. So that looks really nice. I love how that looks actually. Um, so yeah, it's just, I've also got a um, reef to put on the door. So I think I'm gonna carry on vlogging for you tomorrow a little bit. Oh, and we have this. We bought this skiing, because obviously, yeah, we're normally skiing, and actually we bought this one year as well, which is a, a skiing sleigh photo frame, obviously. Now we did have that there. Um, maybe I'll swap them out. Oh, I might get another command book and put that there. I think that'll look really nice. What do we think? Um, so I'm not gonna decorate in the lounge, but we do have some Christmas blankets, and we have Christmas bedding that I can put on the bed as well. Um, so yeah, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there, but we need to take all the empty boxes up because it's taking up a lot of room, so I'm gonna do that now. This is what we've got for dinner tonight that Benji's made, chicken korma. Smells really nice, actually. Yeah, it? it does, yeah. Um, also, I forgot to show you my little Christmas trees up here. And also, I have a little Disney Christmas plate. And I didn't show you in here. I also found my favorite shop disney christmas mug i also got this one this year um but i'm actually going to make my own disney mug or christmas mug sorry it's important but yeah look how cute this is oh look at the that we're watching uh what's it called 14 beats it is incredible they're, they're using oxygen above 8, it's all about a guy called nims is his name nims yeah that climbed the 14 peaks in seven months. It's, it's amazing. They're often putting in the fixed lines for oh. the summit. It's very similar to free so like the way yeah. it's filmed. So they're totally self-sufficient. Oh, come to me now. You want to be here it's on so my lap? Easier. Okay. You want to be here? That's okay, you can sit there. Good girl. Oh, yeah. Mine, very experienced mountaineer saying Clara. Alrighty, it's now about 11 o'clock. I've just done my skincare, brushed my teeth. Benj is just playing a bit of FIFA downstairs and I am going to jump on my Switch. I've just recently got the Happy Home Paradise expansion on Animal Crossing and I'm really loving it. I got it just for my trip and then I planned on playing it while I was away and I just had no time at all. Um, so I finally have been picking it up and I've done like three or four homes now. And it's been really good. I'm gonna carry on vlogging tomorrow because tomorrow we're actually going to see Benji's mum. We're going out for lunch with her. Uh, I won't film that, but I'll talk about it. And then we need to pop to Cineworld because I'm doing an ad for them and I need to go into the lobby and get some B-roll and an Instagram photo for them. Um, we're not seeing a film tomorrow though, although I'd love to. Uh, we don't have time because we're going to see the Panto tomorrow night with some friends. So that's nice and festive. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna climb into bed now and I'll see you tomorrow. Morning everybody. I'm just doing my hair and I'm dressed in a very cute little outfit. I'll show you actually in the mirror. Um, this little snowflake top I got in Matalan and my skirt, the skirt is from Sainsbury's. So yeah, it's really nice because it's actually elasticated at the back so it's really comfortable. So yeah, it's kind of a little festive outfit today. I'll show you properly in the mirror. I'm about to do my makeup. Ben just just taken Bonnie for a walk. The weather is so lovely. See if you can see the blue sky. Yes, lovely blue sky. We are off for lunch with Benji's mum um, and her partner today and I think his daughter. There's five of us usually and then the two dogs but I don't think we'll take the dogs. We're going to the harvester so we're doing that first. Um, we need to pop down to Sydney World like I said. We also want to pop down to David Lloyd although we're not going to the gym today. Benji wants to join my gym so that we go together and we're going to spend the next few months really 
really getting into a good routine um we want to go regularly more regularly so benj wants to join david lloyd so that'd be exciting so he's going to do that today and then yeah we're going to the panto tonight at seven o'clock with some friends but we're going to meet them beforehand to go for a wag mama so i'll film some bits for you but just gonna do my makeup my skin is feeling so good at the moment i might have to do like a skincare update for you although it looks like a little bit red like a little bit of redness going on i think that's just the way my skin is um it feels so 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 soft um should probably stop touching it anyway i'm gonna switch the battery out of this and i'm watching my lovely friend lara lara joanna jarvis if you haven't watched her already um she does lots of like christmasy videos and yeah it's nice and quiet while uh, benji and bonnie are out but yeah, I'm happy with how my hair has lasted. I literally just judged it a little bit this morning. Not by much. Hmm. Good. I appreciate this is not the um, best mirror, but this is my cute outfit. And we're going to go and pop to Cine World first, and then we're going to go to the Harvester. And I've been transferring my new phone over, so I'm just waiting for that to finish. I'm a bit worried, and I appreciate it's not the biggest worry in these COVID times. But they better not have shut the salad bar at Harvester. I, I don't think they have. Because if so, I'm going to be writing a strongly worded, worded email, email to Boris. Mm, and saying. Have a blokey with a, the next slide, please. I will hold him personally responsible. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, also, I was just going to show you, actually, I'll show you like this. Um, I just painted my nails. I'm actually getting them done tomorrow. But um, yeah, I've just done like a purple with a silver. I think that looks really pretty. And Bonbon's gonna stay here for a couple of hours, aren't you? You're gonna stay here, we'll see you when we come back. We are back, didn't vlog anything, of course. Never do when we're with family, but we had a really lovely meal at the Harvester with Benji's mum and her partner and his daughter. So there were five of us, it was very lovely. Had a nice catch up, had, a, uh, I had scampi and chips, and then they do those like mini desserts where you can have a coffee and then like a small brownie. It was delicious, just what I needed. So um, now it's only like two o'clock and we don't have to be out until five. So we've got like a chunk of time this afternoon. I'm just gonna jump on my laptop and do some work. I've also been charging my Switch, so I want to play Animal Crossing, but we're literally just gonna get cozy in bed normally we'd sit in the lounge and chill but um, we both said let's just get cozy into bed um so that's what we're gonna do like a nice little sunday afternoon but i'm wearing the outfit i want to wear later so i'm gonna have to take this off and, and put my pajamas on and then put it back on again anyway that's what we're doing so lovely all right we've put the empty boxes up in the loft and benji located my reef for me and I think it looks really nice. It was actually a very lovely gift a couple of years ago from a company called We Are Christmas. And yeah, you can change the lights on it so they flash and whatnot. But I think it looks really nice. Nice and festive. Right, we're off to Wagamama's for a catch-up meal with our friends, Joe and Caleb. Um, they actually have a sweets business called the Bon Bon Boys. Bon Bon Boys, let me hear you say well. Well. Um, and they sell um, their sweets in um, boxes that you can obviously have delivered. So if you're looking for a gift idea um, that you can send in the post, we love them, don't we? Yeah. Genuinely, I know we're biased because they're our friends, but they've done an amazing job with it. So yes, they started that in lockdown last year. Oh, the lights are flashing. I don't want them to flash. I'm gonna grab a scarf because it's so cold outside. And um, yeah, we're gonna watch uh, Panto. I can't remember if I... Uh, said but panto is a tradition that we started a few years ago i personally think it's so cheesy it's good you know we have a lot of in jokes um off the back of us going to see the panto each year and we see the same one at the bournemouth pavilion there is some better pantos at the, at the southampton mayflower theater they have a much better one um but yeah we always go to this one and our friends joe and caleb are massive um panto people they actually normally go up to the one in london and then they they see all the local ones they see like four or five pa pantos in the season i'm just gonna pull up my tights <laughs> pull up my tights pull down my top anyway we'll only see one this season and it's today which is exciting so yeah we pre-booked the tickets ages ago. The day is here, so we're wrapping up. Also, Bournemouth has amazing Christmas lights, Christmas markets right now, and loads of festive things on. So I thought it might be quite nice if Benji's up for it. Next weekend, um, maybe on Saturday, we could go and do like a festive day out and show you um, what Bournemouth has to offer. Uh, I think that could be quite nice, but we're not gonna do that today. I think I'm gonna need gloves, you know. These are my ski gloves. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them on. Um, 
Cool. All right, let's rock and roll because I don't want to be late. And I'm excited for a Wagamama's, even though we've been out for lunch already today. Are you excited for Wagamama's? Not really. I'm just full up. Full up. <laughs> um, are you keen for a festive date day next week? And if you say no, then... then... We're going to do a festive day. It, yeah, um, I'm not sure if there's a choice in the matter. I'm not sure why I'm asking. Because yeah, yeah. I'm excited about it. And I think I'm going to plan a schedule of fun for you. Oh, I think you're good. Do you know what I really want, Benj? At the Christmas market. I know what you want. You want a Yorkshire wooden rep? Yeah, yeah. I do. Like I do, yeah. yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> I know her so well. He does know me so well. <laughs> I do. I want a Yorkshire pudding wrap. It's like a it's like a roast dinner in a in a wrap. Obviously. No, good, yeah. good chat. And what's it in? It's in a wrap. All right. What's the wrap made of? Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> Look at the tree. It's so pretty. Oh, did you put the lights on on the on the radiator? No. Oh. No. I mean, someone did. But look how nice the tree looks in the corner. I love it. Got no presents under it though because we haven't done any wrapping. Um, well, we've not wrapped presents, we haven't bought yet. This is true. We're normally so organised. We've not been this it year. It doesn't feel like Christmas. I know, I feel the same. Maybe we'll feel differently after we see the panto, babe. Maybe. That might change everything for we'll us. Have naughty little cows. Naughty, naughty cow. Naughty, naughty cows. How many, like, oh, we should have... Baby shark, probably a couple of times. No, baby shark was, la was 2019. It's gonna. We're going to have some newer... Jokes, we should have written a bingo card of na, things. Na, 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 na. Probably that one, a couple of TikTok, TikTok, TikTok dances. dances. We had the whole flossing thing when that was a thing. When that was a thing, yeah, we did. You're right. Um, oh, your shoes look nice. Thanks. You're not wearing your Timberlands then? No, these jeans don't really work with them. Right. Those shoes look nice. Thanks. <laughs> Hello, it's a few days later and we had such a good time at the Panto. They've definitely upped the production value of the one at the Bournemouth Pavilion. It was really funny. The same main guy is in all the ones we see. I can't remember his name. It always leaves me, but anyway, he was brilliant. The whole cast were actually fairly good. Um, obviously, there were loads of cringy, cheesy moments, and with it being Peter Pan, they had him flying across the audience and the stage a few times, and Wendy, well, Wendy, it's actually the story of uh, Emily, Wendy's great-great-granddaughter, and she goes back to Netherland. Anyway, it was really funny, so we enjoyed that. And then the last few days I've just been working, been at my desk, um, been back in the gym and just at home, not doing an awful lot really. <laughs> We've been on some nice dog walks and uh, this weekend I have planned out a Christmas date day where we're going to take Bonnie and go into Bournemouth Town Centre. I have booked some really fun things to do. So if you want to see that, make sure you click subscribe and I'll share that video with you next week. And then we're nearly at the end of the year. So I'll probably do like a final little wrap up chit chatty video for you then as well. But I just wanted to say thank you for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to come follow me over on Instagram if you want to see like behind the scenes and in between the days upload, I do like little mini vlogs on my story. So do come over and chit chat to me over there. And that's all from me today. So have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you very soon. Bye.